François Gabard just changed tack. In the maneuver, he forestalled Armée Leclerc by several hours, seven to be exact. In doing so, he widens the gap even more. So, as you expect, before turning on the camera, he painted on his widest smile. So, we're on the starboard tack, heading north. We'll near the equator. There was a little squall, which makes up this beautiful light. We're on the wind, slightly open. It's gone well. 15 to 20 knots. And we're heading almost full north. Quite good. And at least we're in the right direction. All right, talk to you later. Ciao. Friday at noon, François is almost 160 miles ahead of Armée Leclerc. Not much, you'll say, to a Vendée Globe scale, but it's starting to count in their duel. A duel that's far from reaching its end. And another one starting for the podium. Alex Thompson has taken the third place from Jean-Pierre Duc. It's true, Alex had a nice progression. Passing behind the depression and running downwind. So far, it's a nice option, which gets the game going again. I love the fight, as is required. True position, me versus Verbeck, you know, in a day or so. But, you know, the, the routing, if you run the route, then his position and my position, it, it's quite generous to me, I think. Um, it, the, the models don't really take into account me having to cross this area of one lot of wind. You know, the things I'm doing 15 knots right now when uh, actually I'm doing zero. 8,500 kilometers behind, Alessandro Di Benedetto continues delighting us with his courses. Today, natural sciences. Yesterday, while repairing the ruta blade, I found krill on board. Found these little shrimps that are part of the krill. That's the food basis for animals here. For the whales. Tiny little shrimps 